I'm Stephen Clary, filmmaker, photographer, and also Panasonic Lumix ambassador. One of the technologies that has trickled down from the higher end Panasonic cinema cameras, such as the Vericam V35, is dual native ISO. It first appeared in the Lumix range with the GH5S. It has now also been implemented into the new S1H. So what advantage does dual native ISO offer and how does it compare with a system using a conventional camera sensor? In a conventional system, the ISO number is increased by increasing the gain of the amplifier. Therefore, as you increase the ISO, you also amplify the noise and the signal to noise ratio, it deteriorates. With a dual native ISO system, each pixel has a sensitivity switching circuit. This allows the charge to voltage conversion process to be changed. What this means in practice is that the sensor now has two native ISOs. The important part is that the higher native ISO is achieved without needing gain amplification. And so the noise performance at the higher ISO circuit is very similar to the lower ISO circuit. For low light work or for productions where there may not be a huge lighting budget, this offers great benefits in increasing the performance of the camera for low light cinema work. It also offers great benefits to those filming sports or theatre or anywhere where the light's really, really low. In the following examples, you can see how the signal to noise ratio performance at ISO 4000 in V-Log using the S1H is almost identical to the performance at ISO 640. The S1H and the GH5S both allow you to set the switching point to either auto, allowing the camera to choose the best native ISO for the situation, or you can do this manually if you'd like to control the image quality on a more granular basis. This is the dual native ISO function available in the S1H and GH5S. Panasonic.